When you deliver it to Medline, you should always take a loaded container in and an empty container out. When delivering a Medline load, start to look for the container in the south parking area. Once you have found the container, hook up to the container and do a full pre-trip. Make sure that when you hook up to the trailer, do a tug test and physically look at the fifth wheel lock to make sure that it is properly locked onto the fifth wheel pin. Once you have finished your pre-trip, proceed to Medline to deliver the load. When you are driving with a loaded trailer, do not lift the fifth wheel lift. Leave the container as close to level as possible. Lift it only high enough to get the pressure off of the landing gear so that you can raise it. If the container is on one of our chassis, make sure to call dispatch so that they can inform Medline. This is so that they don't give our chassis to another company. Our chassis are anything with the Antonini logo on it, chassis with AFXE painted on them, CVCP painted on them, or anything with an Antonini sticker on it. B46 loads enter through the driveway on Darcy. Everything else must go to Guard Shack and check in first. If you take a B46 load, you still have to take an empty out and check in with the guard after you drop the load. Never park a loaded trailer on a ramp. Never park a loaded trailer at a door unless instructed to do so from the guard. If there is a truck in the driveway, do not enter the driveway until it is completely cleared. Park on Murphy Parkway until it is your turn to enter. This video has been sped up for timing. This portion of the video shows the route to Medline from the yard. The only time you can turn right when leaving the yard is when you're delivering a Medline. Check in with the guard shack. Make sure that you have your that the seal is on the freight bill and it matches the seal on the door. When you check in with the guard, they will provide you with the number for the empty container that you will be picking up. Make sure that you write that on the check-in sheet that you fill out for the guard as well as on your freight bill. The guard will receive the pink copy of the freight bill once all the correct information has been added. Make sure that you write down the empty out on the freight bill. The guard will inform you where to park the loaded trailer, either in 4, 5, 6, or at a door. See map for locations. You will be taking the loaded trailer in and an empty trailer out. Once you have finished checking in with the guard and go into the facility, start looking for the empty that you're supposed to take out as soon as you go through the gate. Drop the loaded container where the guard directs you to. Locate and hook up to the empty container that the guard has provided you with and make sure that you do a full pre-trip inspection of the chassis. Make sure to check the container to ensure that it is empty. If you get to Medline and it is lunchtime or time for a break, the rear gate going into Section 5 will be locked. If this happens and you cannot find your empty container in the main area, you will need to come out of the facility through the main gate and re-enter the facility through the driveway on Darcy Parkway. Find your empty container, then pull back around to the front of the facility on Murphy Parkway. Pull up in front of the building on the wrong side of the road so that the guard can inspect the empty container. Please see map for illustration. Red arrows show direction for checking out empty if the gate is closed. When you are finished and the guard has checked the container, you will bring the empty back to the yard. Always check the south parking area first. If there is no room in that area, check the dock doors on the east wall. If that area is full, then check the dock doors on the west wall. See map for details. The End
Thank you for watching Medline Training. Drive safe.